Welcome to Iron Man Raid Specialist, featuring Quan Man Raid. The goal of this series is to acquire gear and skills to perfect a Raids Willing Specialist account. Every 75 Raids I can go for 1 of 19 upgrades necessary to build this account, ending at 1500 Soul Raids. Please enjoy the series. Oh damn, uh, I just saw lightning. Oh, damn, bro. Holy shit. So let me elaborate a bit further. So I am trying to kill Hydra for the Lance right now. And I'm doing the melee method. So why am I doing the melee method? It's actually really good uh, if you don't have a Tebow because the melee method doesn't require you to get scales or make <clears throat> bolts. So for an Iron Man, you save an insane amount of time. And also the times are really good as well. For example, my best time so far is a 138 with a rapier. Lance would be even better. But yes, when you are doing the melee method, there will be times where you and Hydra are so far apart that you're just not going to be able to melee because you have to lure to another spot. So during that time, you can actually use a ranged weapon to attack it while luring it and get some free damage in. You might be asking why not use other ranged weapons like a DHCB or a blowpipe to attack while luring. You see, if I use those other weapons, the ammo will go on the ground unless I bring an extra switch which is like the Alva's accumulator or something. And that's more clicking and more effort. Crystal Bow, I just put it on one click and then hit the boss. That's it. And it also has insanely long range which means I'll never get dragged pretty much no matter how far I go away from Hydra. Just for the people that don't know, Twisted Bow is still best against this boss. On this account, I don't have one which is why the main method is here. Yo, that's nice, dude. The crystal bow is actually really accurate, even though I'm wearing full melee gear. That's crazy. I'm actually hitting pretty well. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely working out, man. I, I just was messing around with this. Didn't think much of it, but wow. Now, let me show you guys a full kill of the melee method with the crystal bow. Free damage as I make my way towards the boss. And now we're gonna wait for the third hit. Which should be about right now. Dodge that. And that means once I see poison, move to the next attack style. Now I attack and drag. While paying attention to the poison. Okay, poison is cleared. Alright, now we just drag the boss over here. Okay, quite the distance, so I'm gonna get a crystal ball hit here. Sometimes I don't do it. It just depends on how close the boss is. This time it was far away, but if it's close, I don't bother. Alright, so this is uh, pretty important because this is where I definitely go for a crystal bow hit because it's quite a bit of travel distance. So There you go. So that pretty much always happens with a crystal bow because as long as I... Lord there, then I should have good travel distance to get a free crystal ball hit. So every kill is at least two crystal ball hits that I do, which you know adds up over time. You can save you know a, a second or two every kill, which adds up. So, all right, flame trap. It's pretty simple. You just stand here, and then yeah, as soon as it's about to spit, you just go over here. It doesn't have to be exactly take perfect either, so... But yeah, don't mind my miss prayer flicking because I'm live narrating, so... Things are gonna be a bit off. It's already a miracle that, uh... You know, that I'm live narrating. So if you do it perfectly, you can easily bait the poison without losing any attack time, so... But... Yeah, this is pretty much how the kill goes, and yeah, put on the slot bracelet, boom. Yeah, I'd say that's probably a typical kill for me, yeah. What's my range accuracy? Damn, I, I'm still positive, plus 70 range, okay. No wonder I'm still hitting pretty well. I need some food, what? Nice, alchemical hydra head, okay. And I got the food, so. Definitely can't complain. Hmm. 
if I have some extra Slayer points, you know, I, I might be tempted to turn this into a into a helmet custom because I don't have one that's custom yet. All right, I lost count, so I need to kill this phase fast. Claws? Oh, awkward. Uh, I think I'm dead. I forgot to reset. Shit. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind, guys. If you if you get six R, you you just get automatically cut out. Never mind, I didn't die. Feels good, man. Oh yeah, so I got some ranging potions. This can go pretty well with the uh, crystal bow, actually, since uh, it's free damage. You know, more damage on top. So nice hit. That was our max, right? Sixty with the rape here, pog. Oh, Hydra's Fang? Isn't that for the ring? The Brimstone Ring? Yeah, it could be useful, you know? It might, it might be considerable for uh, the future challenge for raids. Yeah, it's not bad over the Berserker Ring for those. Uh, one more piece, I can complete the ring. Oof, yeah, I skipped it again. It's not too, you know, it's not too hard to skip. From my current experience so far with this setup, I have been able to skip the electricity about 1 in 10 times. Wait, no, I can still skip it. Easy. Damn, back-to-back -back skips, bro. Holy shit. For you guys that are Lance users at, at Hydra farming, it you can definitely skip blues a lot more often. Especially with claws, you know? If you save up your claw spec, definitely worth it. Alright, so uh, a viewer asked a good question about Melee Hydra. What about DDS? And uh, I will show you. Because I'm also curious to see how the Dragon Dagger would uh, do. I know a lot of you guys cannot afford d claws or have one, so let's see if there's another decent option. Jeez, I missed with the DDS. Alright, first spec with the DDS. Double zeros, feels good. Man. But don't worry, we'll get a large sample size to strip, so. Alright, DDS, here we go. Three specs. Uh, it's not really doing much. My rapier pokes definitely felt stronger. Alright, DDS. Two specs. Zeros. Ah, yo, these, these DDS specs, man. Alright, I've done like a solid seven kills with Hydra with DDS. Oof. It's, uh, it's not that good, man. It's not even worth bringing, honestly. Like, my rapier pokes are straight up stronger than almost every single DDS spec that I've done. So yeah, it's absolutely like no point. No no point even bringing it, dude. Yo, 300 KC? Yeah, go for it. Boom, worth it. Risky as hell, but... Did work, though. Ow. Getting better at dodging the lightning. It's still always a close one, but. Oh no, I messed up. Wait, what? Did the. Uh, that? I skipped poison. Somehow. Oh, wait, I just got a 96 slayer. <laughs> I have not been uh, paying attention to my uh, slayer level at all ever since 95 but uh, all right cool man something about losing a lot of skills oh hydra's heart yo sick it's hydra's heart dude um yeah that's pretty cool uh i could use it i could use the uh brimstone range so for the challenge marades and stuff so yeah, that was cool. I was thinking about making this a mandatory upgrade, but then, you know, stuff like Face Scar came out, which was a much better one, but... At least I can still use the Brimstone Ring for some of the challenge mode rates. So, it's pretty cool. What? Oh my god. Already starting another Brimstone Ring, I guess. I'd rather not, you know. If we can get the, uh, if we can get the lance before I finish another brim ring, that'd be great. All right, let's go and make ourselves a brimstone ring. This is gonna be cool. I'll talk more about it in detail with the brimstone ring, cause. 
it's a commonly asked question, you know, between Brimstone and Berserker, which is more useful, right? But yeah, uh, for Berserker Ring, definitely normal raids is better. But Challenge War raids, there's a decent debate between the two rings. A lot of people do opt for the Brimstone, and just for the sake of variety, I'll go with that, you know, opinion as well. We'll be using the Brimstone at the Challenge War raids, so we got that bad boy. Damn, I'm getting really good at like pathing. Honestly, that's so good. I felt like a freaking snake, dude, wiggling about. You know, from one one side of the map to the other. You know. Oh, what the frick? Jar of chemicals. Okay. All right. All right. All right, there, buddy. Mm-hmm. Dead. All right. Looks like Hydra's task done. Number two. Whoa! I killed two fifty nine. Nice. Dang. When when does when did Runelight tell me uh my total XP as well? Holy shit! This task gave me two hundred nine thousand star XP. God damn. Oh, I also got a Hydra's Fang from this. I guess I'm gonna make two uh brims brimstone rings. <laughs> Alright, I got like what? How many points left? All right, so I got 500 points. Let's see if I can get another task with a skip. Oh, I got it. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Only skip two tasks. See? Task cancel 2x, and I got it. Hey. Not, not a bad size. 172. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, not a struggle, you know. At least we got this going on. The RNG is good. Alrighty, Jar of Chemicals. I guess might as well update the house. Orcath was sick, but yeah, we'll just uh, update it to the Hydra just to remind myself that this could be a very long grind, man. Could be a very long grind. When I was younger, uh, we used to have this like honey, literally bars of honey, like back in the village. That you're not obviously you're not supposed to like eat it, like you know, like by itself, right? You're not supposed to do that. Cause like you're supposed to break into pieces and, and add it to like the cooking, right? But I was I, I don't know, man. I don't know how I found out about it. I really like them, so I would try to sneak sneak and try to get a whole bar, you know? Terrible, terrible, bro. Like that shit was big. It was a big bar. Like oh my god. Whoa! I just got a PB. Holy shit! Damn. Yeah, one thirty six. Really? Dang. Nice. Uh, there we go. The new gear. You know, it's coming in clutch. Man, this was a casual kill too. I wasn't even like, you know, I was just chilling. <laughs> Holy shit. So I think I started this grind for the lands at like 200 KC. And yeah, 263 later, I'm back up to 10 mil. Yep, all this is from just alcohols at Hydra. Yeah, actually insane, dude. Actually freaking insane. It's actually decent to have the uh, slaughter bracelet on just for more range accuracy. Like, 14, no, 16 difference, yeah. So I don't even have to put it on until after I shoot my first crystal ball hit. Oh shit, 500 KC, yay, we are now halfway. Halfway to the drop, right? So cool. Wow, this kill was really slow, and I just completed my second brimstone ring, actually. No, <laughs> what the heck? I'll double check in my bank, but I, uh, I definitely did, I believe. What? Are we gonna start another brimstone ring? Jeez. <laughs> wow, uh, I can't believe we are, we're gonna start another uh, <laughs> another brimstone ring already. Here's a good use of visual indicators to help your hydra and avoid counting as much. So we're going to use electricity. So in this kill, hydra finish off its final range attack before shooting off the electricity. What that means is, during electricity, Three magic hits will go through, and when electricity is completely over, it's gonna go back to range. So you don't even have to count magic at all. Just use the visuals. Damn. <clears throat> oh! Oh my god, dude! Holy shit, bro. Nice. Very nice. Oh my goodness, bro. Yo, nice, dude. We got it. Holy shit. Wow. Nice, nice, dude. Only 600 kills, man. Hell yeah.
I was about to say, man, we're almost we're almost out of the tasks, and we almost had to get another one. But nope, we don't have to get another one. Ah, I see. Okay, yeah, it's really that easy. It's just you put the you put the uh, claw into the hosta, and that's it. Yes, please. Hell yeah. And well, we don't have a Zami hosta anymore, but we do have a lance. We do have a lance, bro. Holy shit. And that means it's official, bro. Uh, no longer using rapier for chambers. Ever again, you know? It's it's uh, it's pretty much over. Well, at least at home, you know? We're not going to be using it at home. I might still use this for some challenge more raids, though. The rapier is still really good at Fossa. Challenge more raids. At least compared to the... To the lance. But yeah, this will be basically the new uh, max melee setup that I would bring. To... To chambers. Holy crap. Alright, so we just attached the dragon head, so that means the lance will get the damage boost on the dummy. So I can show you the difference between the rapier and the lance. Alright, so let's start off with the regular rapier, normal max hit gear. So it's 53, I believe it is 54 with overloads. And let's see what it is with the lance right here. 57 oh my god dude i believe it's either that or 58 but just off of this alone that's four maxes difference and not even talking about the accuracy difference that you get which is 20 percent more accuracy on top of whatever this already is so the lance will definitely be so much stronger on ohm so yeah our our pb is definitely going to be so much better with the lance and the sight together it's going to be disgusting so Okay, so I do realize I only have 39 Hydras to kill, so I think I'm going to show you guys just how awesome the Lance is, the Hydra. Since we kind of got this done earlier than expected, 39 kills with the Lance to show off how awesome it is, yeah. Sounds fun, man. Let's do it. Oh my god, 63 though. Holy crap. Oh man, 63. God damn. I'm assuming the difference between Rapier and Lance on Slayer is probably also 4 max hits, but... Oh my god. Only 3 kills in and I almost already beat my PB. Oh my god, dude. Seriously? One second off? Oh my days. I mean, within like 5 kills, I've almost beat my PB twice, so... <laughs> So yeah, the lance is definitely super strong. Like, so much better than the rapier. Oh my goodness. Well, we'll get this PB. Alright, here we go. 59. That's good. That's really good. 59 feels good, man. Oh my goodness. These hits. Yo, this kill, dude. Yo, this kill's insane. Oh no, zero. No, first zero. Oh no. Oh no, the first zero. It's over. PB's over. Holy crap, what are these hits? No, another zero. Dance? Alright, this gotta be a PB, right? Like, I swear. It's gotta be. Ooh, whoa, 133? Okay, alright, not bad. That's, that is definitely a PB, but I saw it three seconds. Cool. But I still got 25 kills left, so, uh, yeah. But yo, just to give you guys an idea of how insane... The Hydra times has been. Look at this: 210, 150, 133, 225, 148, 151, 211, 154, 220, 201, 217. Literally, not a single kill over 230. Like all these kills are on average. Looks like two two minutes flat or so. Like two to 210. Yes, yeah, insane. The rape here was probably averaging like yeah a, a solid 10 10 seconds slower probably damn another pb by one second okay i'll take it 132 let's go all right the last hydra task on this account ever is done and yes the lance was actually super fun to use wow pb twice in 30 kills that's that's absurd you know just 30 kills the times dropped fast but yeah, sick. Okay, well, that'll give you a nice demonstration of the power of the lance versus the rapier. So yeah. 
Next thing to do is get ourselves a new PV at Chambers with the land, so it's gonna be sick. Keep an eye out for that. Alright, so let me see how many keys I got from Hydra. So in 645 kills, I got 16 keys. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just open up all these, just because why not, you know? So let's let's see what we get. Alright, 25 keys opened, and we got 2 mil from that, not bad. This is pretty good, 200 dragon dart tips for dragon darts. Good for speed runs and, and stuff, so definitely uh, take it. But overall, we made uh, 113 mil hydra, value wise, so. Alright, so running out of skills, but I'm kind of just trying not to do too much Zora right now, so I thought, why not just do some AFK fishing, 80 fishing though. A rare fishing level, guys, not runecrafting level, holy crap. Oh, I got a purple. Let's go. Let's freaking go, boys. Let's get it. Nice, bro. Here we go. Another shot. Ah, could be done. We could, could, could be done with TOB, you know, for a hot minute. Holy shit, dude. Please, just no, just ditch your helmets, man. I've gotten too much of those. No defenders either. All right, just, just give me a Sang Staff. Alright, here we go boys. We're gonna close our eyes for this and then open it. Alright, here we go. Come on, baby. No, fuck. Defender again. Ah, this game. This game, bro. Alright, alright, alright. Another try. We'll try again, you know. See, next purple, bro. I feel it. The next purple is gonna be it. Uh, okay, I'm eating up. I got you. Oh my god. This shit's wild. Holy crap. That save though. Jesus. Close that. Ah. Jesus Christ, that was crazy. Every everybody warmed up now. <laughs> Holy crap. Nice. I still have two doses, so we could have clutched further, I guess. Yo, purple! Yo, actual purple, no joke. Yo, purple, let's go, dude. Oh my god. The sacrifice, JFK's pillar sacrifice. Let's go, 850 raids. Man, we spent 500 raids, you know? Just just look for the Sang staff, come on, bro, come on. Come on, give me the Sang, come on. Fuck, wait. Yo, I completed full just this year, but ah. ah it's, like, it's like the second best thing that I could have gotten, really. Uh, I completed full just this year. Full just this year, though, I'm pretty sure. Cause it did say new item, it's like the, the new collection lock feature, so... Yeah, I actually did complete Fudges this year, holy shit. That's kinda cool, but uh, yeah. It's not a Sang Staff though. Yo, what if they introduced Race 3 and it turns out to be like... Solo Bowl or something, and like just this year is... The crazy requirement or something, right? Maybe this, this item has to use. Ooh, this is good. Nice. Oh, wow. Damn, I just got a four-way down. That was sick. Excellent four-way. Here's a good tip for those of you guys learning, so to say, a TOB. So the boss will shoot a magic attack with its mouth sometimes, and that attack is guaranteed to split into one magic ball and one black ball, which is range. The magic is red. So if you see, like, for example, a black ball hitting somebody, but you don't see the mage ball anywhere, like it's not going towards your teammates, you should put on Prey Mage because then at that point you just miss the initial split, but it's under the boss, you can't see it. So you need a Prey Mage already by that point or else it's too late. What? Back to back purple. No freaking way, bro. No more 
of other things. I just need a Sang staff, please. Please, just give me a Sang staff. 854, come on. Come on, bro. Okay. Alright, enough, enough. Here we go. Come on, Sang staff, come on. No, why is this always happening? Hey, I'll give you guys some, some money, though. If you guys want some split money, let me know. I'll, uh, I'll hit you up. Damn it, dude, come on. No. Oh, please. Wait. Oh, where's the spider? Oh, okay. What the frick? There, dude, nothing spawned on my north side. Wow. Let me show you guys one of the main reasons why you guys would wipe Adversic during the last phase. So if you ever get into a situation where there is tornadoes 20% started and yellow portal started, if you have extra food, you should tank the yellow portal if there is somebody that's near that yellow portal. Because what happens oftentimes is that if both of you guys compete for it, you guys both end up taking damage and either you or the other person will probably also heal the boss at the same time. So it's super bad. So if you do have the food, just eat up. Trust me. It will save you from wiping a lot. Okay. Uh, I'll let you go. In. <gasps> oh, I healed and died? Oh my god, GG. Alright, uh, that was a dumb play. Go, 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 hit. Yes! <laughs> Clutch. Oh my god. Oh my god, 1334? 134 damage. Holy crap, that was awesome.